Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's see if we can calculate the resistance of an object if we know its physical dimensions and we know the resistivity. In this case, we're going to determine the resistance of a 20 meter long piece of copper that has a cross sectional area of 0.5 square centimeters and it has a resistivity of 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms time meters. So, to calculate the resistance, we have to have the equation to do that with, and we know that the, the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area. So when we plug in the values for that, the resistivity is equal, the resistance of that piece of wire is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters, multiplied times the length, which is 20 meters, all divided by the cross-sectional area, which is 0.5 centimeters squared. Now, of course, we have to convert centimeters squared to meters squared. And let's see, meters squared here, centimeters squared there. And the relationship is one square meter is 10,000 square centimeters. Notice the centimeters cancel out, the meters cancel out, and you're just left with ohms, which is what you would expect because we're looking for resistance. All right, let's see what that's equal to. So we have a 1.72 e to the 8 minus times 20 divided by 0.5 and then multiply times 10,000 equals and that gives us a resistance of 0 0.00688. Oop. I say eight and I'm writing six. Or I was going to write a zero there. So 688 and the units is ohms. So about seven one thousand of an ohm. That's not a lot because copper is a very good conductor, therefore it has very low resistivity, and therefore the resistance even on a piece of copper 20 meters long with a small cross-section area 0.5 centimeters squared is still a very low resistance, and that's why copper makes such a good conductor. And that's how that's done.